Hi there. Hello. You want to say hi? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. All right, this is day four, and this is the big stage today. It's the San Adrian Tunnel Day. Um, it's supposed to be the most beautiful stage of the walk, and it's a tough one. I'm already a little out of breath. I've been walking about 30 or 40 minutes starting the climb. It is a long climb today, so I think it's about seven, seven and a half kilometers pretty much up. Um, I have to say so far, the weather is honestly it's pretty good you know last night i was just checking the weather constantly because it was calling for like all rain and thunderstorms all day today and then when i woke up this morning it's just showing kind of cloudy skies for the morning and so it is not raining and let's see if you can see it there is some blue sky up there so I don't think it's going to be this beautiful clear day, but oh my gosh, I will take this. Okay, I'm going to get going, continue the climb. I'm just going to hopefully take it slow, take lots of breaks, hope the knee will be okay on the descent. I hope it will be. It feels fine right now, but it feels fine going up. We'll see about going down. All right, I'll be back soon with more. All right, the tunnel, San Adrian, is... Four and a half kilometers. I like that there's some good signposts. Let's me know that I am ticking off the kilometers bit by bit. Looks like we've got 700 meters to the tunnel. And I think that's it right there. Yeah, let's go check it out. How is that even possible? <laughs> He's just running down the trail. part of an old Roman road. Oh, it's incredible that this is still here. All right, I am almost at Zalduando, which is the first town on today's stage. It is at the bottom of the descent. After that, there's about a little over six kilometers till the end of my stage. Um, I see the church ahead. It's very exciting. I'm gonna stop, take a break, have a little lunch. Um, the amazing thing though, maybe the most amazing thing today is that, you know, I've just finished the descent. It was like seven or eight kilometers down. My knees are fine. Like they don't hurt at all. Maybe it helps that I have a stick. Maybe, I don't know, the last couple of days helped. Maybe I'm adjusting to the weight of my pack. I was really worried about my right knee and it feels totally fine. And it was hurting yesterday. So 
I don't know, but I'll take it. That's the Camino magic of the day. So the only bar in town here is closed. So no services in this town, but I do think there is an albergue, but I'm gonna keep on walking to the next town. So the other bit of Camino magic today is that there is no rain for my walk. Um, as we look behind me right now, there's some pretty dark clouds and it looks like there might be some rain maybe up at the top of that mountain there, which could have been the one that I crossed. I'm not sure I crossed and passed through one of those mountains. Um, but I think it's incredible that the forecast was calling for rain literally all day and thunderstorms and nothing. Um, I think I'm going to avoid whatever is behind me. I should probably be at my destination in a few kilometers. So I am very, very grateful for the decent weather today. The skies are looking dark. <laughs> my room. Well, there are two beds, TV. There is a little a sink. And then the bathroom is in the hall. And I have no idea how much this is gonna cost. <laughs> uh, don't think too much. I had read maybe 20 euros, but that's for a single. We'll see. Anyway, I am very happy to have arrived. All right, I'm using my electric coil to heat water. Now I had a near disaster, or maybe a disaster, I don't know. So with this coil, you need to submerge it into water before plugging it in and then unplug it before taking it out of the water. And I've been so careful to do this, except I just wasn't thinking a little earlier. And I plugged it in before putting it in the water and they're known to short right out. And so, and it got really hot. So I was afraid that I ruined it, but I'm trying it again. And it looks like it's working. So maybe the third bit of Camino magic for the day is that I have not ruined my electric coil.